Bao Fawzan Hafidahullah Ta'ala He began by praising Allah This is SalafiTT.com and SalafiTT Live Radio bringing you free authentic audio So wa Sheikh Sheikh Salih al Fawzan Hafidahullah Ta'ala he began by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and beseeching him to send his peace and blessings upon his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he said, as to what proceeds, then indeed this topic is a very important one. And it is, as you've heard being announced, the way of the Salaf al-Salih and the Ummah's need for it. القرن الأول من هذه الأمة وهم صحابة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من المهاجرين والأنصار. Then he proceeded by saying what is meant by the term Salaf al-Salih then it is the first generation of this Ummah and they are the companions of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم from those who migrated from Mecca to Medina and those who were called the Ansar, the helpers that were residing in Medina. Allah the Most High says, and those who led the way, the first of the emigrants, the Muhajirun, and the helpers, the Ansar, and those who followed them in righteousness, Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Allah. He has prepared for them. Beneath it, there are rivers that are flowing. Therein they will abide forever, and that is the great success. And Allah the Most High, He says in another verse, It is for the poor immigrants who have been driven out of their homes and their possessions taken away. Those who seek Allah's favor and good pleasure and they help Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are the truthful ones. So these verses, they are in regards to those true companions who migrated from Mecca to Medina, the Muhajireen. But then Allah, He informs regarding the Ansar, the helpers. It also belongs to those who were already settled in this abode of migration, having come to faith before the arrival of the emigrants. They love those who have migrated to them, and they do not avert what has been given to them. They even prefer them, the emigrants, above their own selves, even though poverty may befall them, and whosoever is preserved from their own greed, then they are the ones who will prosper. <laughs> يقولون ربنا اغفر 
لنا ولاخواننا الذين سبقونا بالايمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا ظلا للذين امنوا ربنا انك رؤوف رحيم and then Allah he informs in regards to those people who came after the companions and it also belongs to those who came after them and who supplicate our Lord forgive us and our brothers who have preceded us in faith and do not put in our hearts any rancor towards those who believe our Lord you are the most tender and the most compassionate ثم من جاء بعدهم وتتلمذ عليهم من التابعين واتباع التابعين ومن بعدهم من القرون المفضله التي قال فيها النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم than those that came out of the companions, the ones who learnt and studied from them, the Tabi'un, and the followers or the students of the Tabi'un, the Atba'a Tabi'in, and those that came after them from the preferred generations, whom the Prophet ﷺ, he said in regards to them, Khairukum Karni, the best of you is my nation, the companions radiallahu anhum. ثم الذين يلونهم then those that came after them the tabi'un ثم الذين يلونهم and then those that came after them the atba'a tabi'in قال الراوي لا ادري ذكر بعد قرنه قرنين او ثلاث the narrator of this hadith whose name is Imran ibn Hussein he said i don't remember whether the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned two or three generations after his generation. So the era or time which they lived and which is superior when compared to those generations that came after them, then it is known as Asr al Qurun al Mufaddala, the era of the preferred generations. They are the Salaf of this Ummah, whom are praised by the Prophet ﷺ when he said, The best of people is my generation, the companions radiallahu anhum, then those that came after them, the Tabi'un, and then those that came after them, the Atba'a Tabi'een. <laughs> So these generations, they are an example to this Ummah and their manhaj, their way, then it is the path which they threaded in regards to their belief, their interactions, their mannerism and all their affairs. And it is the way which is taken from the Qur'an and the Sunnah because of their closeness to the Prophet and because of them living during the time of revelation and because of them taking from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. al 
المسلمون على معرفة منهجهم ليأخذوا به. So they are the best of generations and their way or path, then it is the best path. Therefore, this is the reason the Muslims strive to understand their way in order that they may take from it. And that is because it is not possible to thread upon their path except by understanding, learning, and acting upon it. For this reason, Allah, he says, and those who led the way, the first of the immigrants, the muhajirun, and the helpers, the ansar, and those who followed them in goodness. So what is meant here is to know their way well or to master it. Therefore it is not possible to follow them in righteousness except learning their ideology and their path and to learn how they walked upon this path. As for merely just claiming to be Salaf or upon Salafiyya without understanding it and its way, then this individual doesn't know anything, but rather he can cause harm. Therefore, it is incumbent to understand the path of the Salaf as Salih. So, for this reason, this nation study carefully the way of the Salaf as Salih and they spread or carry it generation after generation. Therefore it is taught in the masajid, schools, institute, faculties and universities. This is the path of the Salaf al-Salih and this is the way for the people to understand. Indeed, we learn the path of the Salaf al Salih, the clear or pure way which is taken from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of His Messenger Muhammad. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us that this nation will be faced with much differing in his statement. The Jews were divided into 71 sects, the Christians were divided into 72 sects, and this nation will be divided into 73 sects. All of them will be in the hellfire except one. So the companions عنهم, they said, who is this group or messenger of Allah?
He replied by saying, Whoever is upon what me and my companions are upon today, this is the path of the Salaf al Salih. The one who is upon what the Prophet and his companions were upon, and those who followed them upon righteousness. Therefore, the affair of learning the path of the Salaf al Salih is very important in order to hold on to it. And that is because it is the path to safety. All of these groups will be in the fire except one. And this is the aided group. And they are Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. This one group, when the people start differing, when there appears many different ways, and the paths and groups become too many, then this is the group that will be upon the way of the son of As-Salih. They are the ones that are going to hold on to and be patient upon it until they meet their Lord the Most High. The Prophet ﷺ gave his companions عنهم, a speech at the end of his life, a speech which had great effect upon them and which filled the eyes with tears. They said, O Messenger of Allah, it is as though this is a farewell speech, so advise us. He responded by saying, I advise you with the taqwa of Allah and to hear and obey. Hearing and obeying to whom? To the one that is placed in authority over the Muslims. So he said, and to hear and obey. Even if a slave was ordering you, for whomsoever were to live amongst you would witness much differing. So upon you is my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors after me. So hold on to it firmly as though you are abiding with your molar teeth and beware of the newly invented affairs for every invented matter is an innovation and every innovation is a going astray and every going astray leads to the fire of hell. This is the advice of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, to his nation to thread upon the path of the Salaf al Salih because it is the way to success. And 
ذلكم وصاكم به لعلكم تتقون ذلكم وصاكم به لعلكم تتقون تتقون النار تتقون الضلال وتخالفون الفرق الضالة And this is as Allah the Most High says This is my straight path Follow it And do not follow the other paths Because these paths Will lead you astray from my path This is what he has commanded you So that you may be conscious That you may be conscious about the fire That you may be conscious about misguidance And that you may oppose these misguided groups <laughs> حتى تلحقوا بنبيكم صلى الله عليه وسلم بأصحابه وأتباعه. Therefore thread upon the path of safety until you become successors of your Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and his companions رضي الله عنهم and those who follow him. ومن يتمسك بهذا خصوصا في آخر الزمان سيلقى سيلقى تعبا من الناس والمخالفين سيلقى تأنيبا وتهديدا فيحتاج إلى صبر سيلقى مغريات للصرف عن هذا الطريق وتهديدات ترغيب وترهيب من الفرق الضالة والمناهج المنحرفة يحتاج إلى صبر Therefore know that whomsoever holds on to this, especially in the end of times, will encounter afflictions from the people and likewise the opposers. He will be faced with censorship and threats. Therefore this individual requires extensive patience. He will be faced with temptations to stray from this path, threats, desires, and intimidation from the misguided and deviated groups. Therefore, upon him is patience. For this reason, the Prophet said, Islam began as something strange, and it will return to strangeness as it began. So give glad tidings to the strangers. The companions عنهم, they said, So who are the strangers, O Messenger of Allah? He said, They are those who are upright when the people have become corrupted. And in another narration, he said, Those who reform what the people have corrupted. Therefore, there is no safety from misguidance in this world, and no safety from the fire of the hereafter except for the one who threads upon the way of the Salaf al-Salih. And they are as Allah says about them, He who obeys Allah and the Messenger, such shall be with those whom Allah has favored, from the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous. How excellent will they be as companions? That is a bounty from Allah, and it is sufficient that Allah knows. <laughs> سورة الفاتحة في كل ركعة من صلواتنا فريضة أو نافلة وفي آخرها هذا الدعاء العظيم 
So for this reason, Allah has made it compulsory for us to recite Surah Al-Fatiha in every segment of our prayer, the obligatory and the supererogatory. At the end of this chapter is the great supplication, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem, guide us to the straight path. Sirat Al-Mustaqeem, and Hunaka Turuq Min Haribah. The straight path because they are deviated and false paths. Therefore, you ask Allah to protect you from these paths and to guide you upon the straight path. You ask Him to make you firm upon this path in every raka'ah. This is the importance of this dua. <laughs> Reflect upon its meaning, the straight path. <laughs> who are those who threat upon the straight path? They are those whom Allah has favored. Allah says, Sirat al an'amta alayhim. The path of those whom you have bestowed your favor. So who are those whom Allah has bestowed his favor? They are the prophets, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous. How excellent will they be as companions? So when you ask Allah to guide you to this path, then you should also ask Him to protect you from the misguided and deviated ways. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim ghayr al-makhdubi alayhim The path of those whom you have bestowed your favor, not the path of those whom have earned your anger. The path of those whom have earned your anger are those whom Allah is angry with, and they are the Jews. They knew the truth, however, they never acted upon it. So every person who walks upon the way of the Jews from this Ummah, every person who knew the truth but didn't act upon it, then he is upon the way of the Jews, upon the way of earning Allah's anger upon themselves. And that is because he knew the truth but didn't act upon it. He attained knowledge but left off actions. So every knowledgeable person who doesn't act upon his knowledge is from those who have earned the anger of Allah upon themselves. And Allah says, And those who are astray, then they are those 
who worship Allah upon ignorance and misguidance. They worship and seek closeness to Allah, however they do this upon a way that is incorrect, upon a way that is not safe, without evidences from the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Their worship is upon bid'ah, it is upon innovations. And every innovation is going astray, as the Christians are upon. So whosoever follows their way, and every person who worships Allah upon a path that is not authentic, and upon a way that is not safe, then this person is astray. He has lost the path and his action is false. So this is a comprehensive dua which we repeat in every raka'ah of our salah. Therefore we should contemplate upon it and supplicate by it with a heart that is present and understand its meaning until Allah answers us. So it is said after the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha, Ameen. And the meaning of Ameen is, O Allah, answer. So it is a great dua for the one who reflects upon it. And as we mentioned before, the one who threads upon this path, which is a favor upon them, will encounter trials, oppression, humiliation, mockery, and threats. Therefore, this individual is required to show patience. For this reason there are some narrations concerning the one who tries to hold on to his religion in the end of times. So he is like the one trying to hold on to burning coals. And that is because he will face difficulties and he will encounter evil from the people. Therefore he is required to have patience. He is not furnished with carrying roses or flowers. So on this path there are difficulties. There are trials from the people. Therefore you are in need of patience and firmness upon its way until you meet your Lord the Most High to attain safety from the fire, to be safe from misguidance in this life and to be safe from the fire in the hereafter. <laughs> There is no way to this safety except through Salafiyyah. And there is no safety except threading upon this path. In these times, the people have abandoned or against the path of the Salaf. In the papers, magazines and book publications, 
they belittle Ahlus Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the true Salafiyun. They belittle them by saying they are extremists, by saying they pronounce kufr, disbelief upon the people. They call them this and that. However, this causes no harm upon the true Salafiyun. But the one who is affected is he who doesn't exert patience and strength. Also from them is the one who says, Who are these Salaf? The Salaf are merely another denomination from the other denominations. They are just another group from the other groups. They are just another party from the other parties. There aren't anything special. This is what some of them say about the Salaf. They aren't anything special. They are just a group and denomination like the other groups and parties. So what they intend by their sayings is to turn and bend our hands away from the path of the Salaf. And also from them is the one who says, We are not obligated to follow the understanding and the knowledge of the Salaf. It is not upon us to make our path difficult. We will devise new laws. We will find a new understanding. The understanding of the Salaf is an old understanding. This type of understanding brings no rectification in our era. It was only to rectify theirs. Our times are different. So they turn people away from the understanding of the Salaf and they call to a new understanding of the religion. Much of this is found in the newspapers and journals from the publishers and the people of misguidance. They seek by this to remove our hands from holding on to the way of the Salaf as Salih. And that is because if we don't know the path of the Salaf and we abstain from it and we don't study it, then without knowledge and insight of its way, it will not be sufficient to adhere to the path of the Salaf. So this is what they want from us. They seek that we should leave the way of the Salaf and to abandon the understanding and knowledge of the Salaf. They seek that we should invent a new understanding of the religion. As they say, this new understanding brings rectification to this era. Even though their claim is a lie, the legislations of Islam are righteous for every time and place until the final hour is established. <laughs> Allah 
Therefore the manhaj, the way of the salaf, is righteous for every time and place. It is a light from Allah the Most High. So don't let the speech of those who abandon the religion or those who are astray be the means for you to forsake it. Imam Malik rahimahullah, he said the latter parts of this ummah will not be rectified except by that which rectified the earlier generations. So what was it that rectified the earlier generations? It is the Quran and the Sunnah and to follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam acting upon the Quran and the Sunnah is what rectified the earlier generations. So the latter part of this Ummah will not be rectified except by that which rectified the earlier. Therefore, whosoever wants success, then upon him is to understand, hold on to, and invite to the way of the Salaf, for it is the path to safety. It is like the ship of Nuh, alayhi salam. Whoever is upon this ship will be safe, and whoever leaves this ship will be destroyed and will drown in misguidance. So there is no success for us except to understand the way of the Salaf. And no, it is not possible for us to understand the way of the Salaf except through learning. Learning, studying, and teaching it, along with supplicating to Allah, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alayhim. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom you have favored. We ask Allah to give us the success to follow it and to make us firm upon it. This is incumbent that we ask Allah. The affair is not just merely claiming to be Salafi. So the one who claims to be something without truly establishing it, then his people will disown him. He's like an adopted child. So the affair is not just an affair of claiming Salafiya. Allah, the mighty and the high, He says, وَالَّذِينَ تَبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانِ And those who follow them in righteousness. And this means to follow them with mastery or perfection. So you would never know the way of the Salaf except that you understand and learn it. And you would never be able to hold on to it except that you exert patience upon its path and that you stay away from listening to the misguided callers, the one who distracts and arouses people to dislike its way.
الا واحده قيل من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان 